Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss this example. So we have this double integration and we have to find its value with the help of polar coordinates. We have to convert this problem in polar coordinates and we have to solve. Okay. So let us try to find region first. So what will I do? Uh, here the inner integration with respect to y. So these are limits of y. Outer integration with respect to x. So these are limits of x. So let us find the region of integration first. Region is bounded by. See the first curve is x is equal to 0. Next x is equal to 2a y is equal to 0 and the last one is y is equal to root 2ax minus x square. So x is equal to 0. This is equation of y axis. This is our y axis x is equal to 0. Okay. So let me show here x is equal to 0. x is equal to 2a. This is a line x is equal to 2a is a line parallel to y axis which passes through 2a. So a means any arbitrary number. So I'm considering this is a, a comma 0 and this is 2a comma 0. 2a comma, let me write here properly, 2a comma 0. So this is a line. This is a line parallel to y axis. So this is a line parallel to y axis passes through 2a. So line will be like this. So this is y x is equal to 2a right x is equal to 2a y is equal to 0 this is equation of x axis this is x axis and see here uh, let me write here x axis that means y is equal to 0 okay and y is equal to this is the third uh, last equation we have but see there is a square root to remove square root i will take square of both sides so if i take square of both sides we will have like this y square is equal to 2ax minus x square. So let us shift all terms in this side. Actually, this is equation of circle, but it is not in its standard form. So we will try to express it in its standard form and we will find its radius and circle. So for that purpose, I'm going to shift those terms here. So we'll have x square minus 2ax plus y square is equal to 0. What is standard equation of circle? Its equation is x minus a square plus y minus b square is equal to r square. So here the center is a comma b and radius is r. So this is standard equation of circle. So I will try to express this equation in that form. Here we have a bracket square. We need to adjust bracket square here. There is very simple technique. Okay, whatever the multiple of x, we have to take its half and we have to take its square. Okay, uh, let us do that. Mm, let me write here. Okay. Okay. So what did I tell you? Whatever the multiple of x, we have to take its half and we have to take its square. x square minus 2ax. Multiple of x is 2a. Its half is a and its square is a square. Let us add a square on both sides plus a square. Y square is already there and a square. So I am adding a square on both sides. I have got this one. Okay. So x square minus 2x plus a square. This is x minus a bracket square. If you expand it, you will get a same expansion. Plus simply y square is there. So we can write y minus 0 square is equal to a square. Why I am writing in this way since I want to express it in this standard form. So now you can compare. So you can easily see the center is a comma 0. Y minus 0 x minus a center is a comma 0. And what is its radius? Radius is a. Let me write here. So this is circle. Circle we have got. This is a circle. Right. Its center is a comma 0 and its radius radius is a so let us draw a circle here here center is a comma 0 here and radius is a this radius it has so the circle will be like this so we have a circle like this okay so the region is bounded by x is equal to 0 x is equal to 2a region lies between these two lines region bounded below bounded below by x axis and bounded above by a part of circle that means obviously this is a 
region of integration okay so this is the region of integration so now we have to convert a problem in polar form since they have already told we have to convert a problem in polar form and then we have to solve it okay so make a screenshot of it then we will go further so to convert a problem in polar form we have a very standard substitution that substitution is x is equal to r cos theta y is equal to r sin theta and dx dy is r dr d theta so we use this substitution to convert a problem in polar form so yes after doing this our next task is to convert the regions or the to convert a given curves in polar form so we have this circle x square plus y square is equal to 2x so let us convert it into polar form we have x square plus y square is equal to 2x what is value of x r cos theta let us put here r square cos square theta what is value of r r sin theta so r square sin square theta let us put the value of x 2a r cos theta see in left hand side we can take r square common so in bracket we will have cos square theta plus sin square theta here 2 a r cos theta cos square theta plus sin square theta is 1 so its value will be 1 so we will have r square is equal to 2 a r cos theta let us r let us cancel r from both sides so r is equal to 2 a cos theta so this is the equation of circle we have got okay so what is equation of circle let me mention somewhere uh, r is equal to 2 a cos theta so this is the equation of circle so now we can easily find the limits of r and theta in polar form we always draw a strip which starts at origin so the strip will be like this we start at origin okay let us find the limits then limits of r and limits of theta the strip is bounded below by origin since it starts at origin so that's why it is bounded below by 0 the value of r is 0 the strip will go up to the that circle getting now it will go up to that circle whose equation is r is equal to 2a cos theta so the upper limit of r is 2a cos theta the purpose of strip is to move okay the strip should move and it has to cover the entire region of integration so strip is like this it will start at 0 it has to go up to 90 it has to rotate it by 90 degrees so it can cover the entire region so theta should vary from 0 to 90 degree that means pi by 2 so in this way i got the limits of r and theta let us put and let us solve the integration so i is equal to always in case of polar form always the inner integration with respect to r outer integration with respect to theta limits of r 0 to 2a cos theta limits of theta 0 to pi by 2 see here we have x square plus y square x square plus y square already we have solved and we have got its value is r square so directly i am writing r square here since you can put at a place of x r cos theta you can put at a place of y r sin theta and we will we can solve in the same way and its final value will be r square so that's why i'm directly writing r square same way we can do okay dy dx or dx dy its value is r dr d theta let me write r dr d theta so this is equal to integration 0 to pi by 2 0 to 2a cos theta right r square into r r cube dr d theta so we have to solve that integration further just make a screenshot of it then we will go further so let us integrate r cube the integration of r cube is r raised to 4 by 4 so let us write integration 0 to pi by 2 integration uh, see integration of r cube is r raised to 4 by 4 0 to 2a cos theta d theta okay let me remove this part it is not required now so we will have some more space to write okay so this is equal to that 1 by 4 is constant will come outside 0 to pi by 2 i am putting the upper limit 2a cos theta so it's fourth power so 16 a raised to 4 cos raised to 4 theta 
and if I put 0, obviously we will have the value 0 d theta. So 16 will come outside. So 16 a raised to 4 by 4, 0 to pi by 2. So inside the integration, we have cos raised to 4 theta. It is difficult to solve. So I'm going to take the help of beta gamma function. So there is one standard result integration 0 to pi by 2 sin raised to p theta cos raised to q theta d theta is equal to half beta of p plus 1 by 2 q plus 1 by 2. Okay, so this relation or this definition of beta function I am going to use here. We have cos raised to 4 theta but sin is there and sin is missing here. So I can write sin raised to 0 theta. Since anything raised to 0 is always 1, so we can definitely write and here cos raised to 4 theta d theta. If you can, if you compare, you can easily see p is 0 and q is 4. Let us use that formula. 4, 4 cancel here, 4 a raised to 4. So using that one, beta of half beta of p is 0, 0 plus 1 by 2, 1 by 2 and q is 4. So 4 plus 1 by 2, that means 5 by 2. 2, 2 will get cancelled and 2 a raised to 4 we have. See, there is relation between beta and gamma functions. Let me write beta of m comma n is gamma m, gamma n upon gamma m plus n. So, this relation I am going to use to find its further value. Okay. Uh, yes, beta, gamma m. This is our m, this is our n, gamma half, gamma phi by 2. And in bottom, we have to add them. So, half plus phi by 2. Let us continue next part here. Okay. So, yes, we have used it. Let me remove. So, we will have some more space to write. So, this is equal to 2 a raised to 4, right? Gamma half, its value is root pi. So, gamma half is root pi. Let me mention somewhere. So, gamma half is root pi. See, there is, uh, sorry, root pi. There is one relation, gamma n is n minus 1, gamma n minus 1. So, using this relation, we can express gamma phi by 2 as 3 by 2, 1 by 2, gamma 1 by 2, okay? Divided by 1 by 2 plus 5 by 2, that means 6 by 2, which is 3. So, here we have gamma 3. 2, 2 will get cancelled. Let me show here. 2, 2 will get cancelled. So, we'll have 3 root pi by 2, getting this 2 and a raised to 4 is also there. Gamma 1 by 2 is again root pi. Gamma 3 is there. So, if n is integer, positive integer, then gamma n is n minus 1 factorial. If that n is a natural number, we can write n minus 1 factorial. So, gamma 3 is 2 factorial. So, 3 root pi into root pi pi a raised to 4. 2 factorial is 2 into this 2, you will have 4. So, this is required answer. Okay. So, yes, make a screenshot of it, then we will stop. Thank you. See you.